This week we're in Spain, so this is how to holiday with a pregnant person. Bri is getting Bri is getting people to take photos of her and her bump, as you do. What are you doing, babe? Just putting in with you. Go away. What are you doing? Filming something else for your vlog? Yeah. Oh, something else about you. So when you're on holiday with a pregnant person, you've got to make sure they've got plenty of snacks. Snack. Snack. <laughs> <laughs> you bring the tea. Snack. Snack. <laughs> no, I'm going to brown all in my tea. Snack. 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 <laughs> What are you doing? Snack. <laughs> what a snack. Oh. So Ben's asleep. I think it's about time I paid him back for all the snacks he's been force feeding me while I've been having a nap. Brilliant, okay, well done. The sun is setting and we are now walking into Fuengirola in Spain to have some dinner. What are you in the mood for? Maybe a nice piece of fish for a change. More fish. We're eating a lot of fish this week. One thing I'm noticing about a holiday with a pregnant person is you can't walk quite as far. So or we, as fast. Or as fast. We've been walking for four hours now. We left at lunchtime. <laughs> Seven o'clock in the morning. I've come out for a run because last night we had an early night, so I'm feeling fresh, which never normally happens on holiday, if I'm honest. Normally I'd be up late having a few drinks. So I guess going on holiday with a pregnant person has made me healthier. This is the place we're staying in, pool. The sea over there, and over there you can see we've got all of those uh, like sun canopy things. Canopy? Canopy. One of them. Uh, that's particularly good because obviously Bri can't stay out in the sun very long because uh, she's got to keep bump nice and shaded so they're coming in massively massively helpful uh, other times she wants to kind of sunbathe we're just kind of covering the bump got to keep the bump covered bumps covered <laughs> <on my> phone. <laughs> there's a crying baby <laughs> next time we go on holiday we are gonna have one of these kind of messing with my zen. Yesterday I burnt the top of my head. Um, I haven't got a cap, so Bri has fashioned this apparently really cool manly headscarf. It's all the cool blokes in Shoreditch, all the hipsters are wearing them. That's right, baby, yeah? Yeah, you just need a little moustache. So when you're sunbathing and you're pregnant, you gotta just make sure you don't get burnt because you can get sunburnt a lot easier, right? Is that right? True. Bryce just told me something that I didn't know. Just tell them what you just well, told me. I said, according to mother of daughters, Kenny yes. Hooper, yes. Um, you keep your tan a lot longer when you're pregnant. You so when you guys are all pale, I shall still be nice and brown. Well, not really that brown because I haven't really seen them that much, but browner than normal. Oh, there we go. So that's it, end of the holiday. We're literally about to get the flight now, which is over there. It's been a really nice week. We both needed a break. So here would be my big advice about if you're going on holiday with a pregnant person, pick the right type of holiday. We went away early summer, so it's like 24 to 28 degrees. In Europe, really short flight, two hours. Deliberately wanted to sit by a pool, no walking or anything like that. And we chose not to go away with a massive group of friends where we'd be drinking all the time and bro would be sat there going, this isn't very much fun. So those things are quite interesting. So here's my question. In about 10 weeks time, when Bri's gonna be a really big lady at 30 something weeks pregnant, we're gonna fly to LA, which is a 12 hour flight, and we're already a little bit nervous about it. We're a bit nervous about that long flight and how big Bri's gonna be. Also, at that time, she could go into labor. We don't know if we need like insurances and stuff like that. Has anyone got any experience with a long haul flight 
whilst being 30 something weeks pregnant? If so, please comment below and let, let us know and hopefully put our mind at ease. Uh, and if not, I'll see you all back in England next week.